Hi everyone, David Mitchell from Baby Renovations and it's the end of week 9 of our Wimborne Avenue project in Mount Eliza. There has been so much going on, I can't wait to get into it. This project is starting to look amazing, so let's get into it. Uh, I haven't done a video for a couple of weeks because the house actually had to sit for a few weeks. Uh, we just kept discovering more and more problems with the flooring. So in the end, the client has decided to um, put all timber, recycled timber, throughout the entire living areas upstairs, which has been a fantastic decision. Um, when, when you've got different levels in your house, like this here, um, sections that are just no good, um, you know, like, like this here, you've got a whole section of yellow tongue, you've got completely different sections of flooring which we don't know maybe they're old stairs and then you go into the hallway it's all yellow tongue it's really difficult um to get it right to get it really really beautiful and this house is going to be amazing when it's finished so going over the top with uh tasmanian oak it's going to look sensational it'll take it to the next level so originally the plan was to do just this area here in white tiles in the kitchen area and it just never would have looked anywhere near as good. So I'm absolutely thrilled with that decision from the clients. Um, okay, so that's been a really big, big thing uh, because last week we we're actually ready for the timber to be installed. That's it all sitting there. There's 140 metres of timber being done. All the timber flooring downstairs in the hallway is going to be done as well and the stairwell. Um, there's also been a decision made to replace the balustrade in the stairs uh, so as you can see here we've removed all the old balustrading uh, that's all happening now uh, we've removed that old section of timber flooring down there near the entrance so that's all going to happen uh, it's going to look so much better it, it, it's just it's next level now it's going to be sensational so the project like on many other occasions has grown to be so much bigger than it originally was and Oh, just yeah I love doing projects like this the, the client is the clients have been fantastic to work with and that's one of the biggest things I know I'll keep saying it but dealing with good people communication um, and having an open mind and understanding the building trade is really important when you're doing projects like this because you just never know what you're going to uncover underneath the floors and so forth when you start the project so enough of that so what happened last week the flooring was about to go in and then the flooring installers the timber flooring stores they got COVID, so they had to have the whole week off so tomorrow they're in um, so i can't wait we're ready to have all of this timber installed now all the prep work's been done all of the um we've actually put plyboard downstairs you'll see that when i go down there but there's all new plyboard here we just put six mil plyboard here over yellow tongue so that the levels were right, um, all, way, all the way down the hallway, and then also in this transition area, and then back into that bedroom there. And um, you can see now, so the levels will be all perfect. So bring it up, that six mil, you know, all of that prep work makes a huge, huge difference when the, the project's finished. You don't want to have, you know, you don't want to have a step there if you don't have to. Um, so that's really, really good. Um, so the timber floor is going in. The other thing is, <laughs> we we were wait we were ready for tiles. If you look back, I think in week five of the project, we'd already done all the waterproofing for the wet areas. But then, you know, as the world is today, the the ship got stuck at sea or something or other, and we were promised and promised and promised the tiles. And finally, they arrived in Melbourne Port this week. Uh, we got them, so we've quickly got the floors in. So the, the grey tiles look so good on the floors, and you can actually see now that really nice walk-in shower that we've built. Uh, we've actually put some architrave on that window ready uh, for paint as well. But um, you can see here the toilet floor is done, and the laundry floor in here has all been tiled as well. And the reason why we really wanted to get these floors in upstairs in particular was so when we put the timber flooring in we can marry the heights to these three floors here so that's smooth transition 
it's nice and level there's no steps again so it's much easier to adjust the height of timber meeting a tiled edge rather than trying to adjust the tile edge to meet timber i hope that makes sense so we'll, i was thrilled to, that, that they've they've gone in and they look really really good um the other thing that's been done is there's all new timber timber doors that have arrived to so the clients that's another addition to the job so they've decided to do all the internal doors and these doors we've used them before they're a solid mdf door they're really good quality so for sound and thermal um, reasons but also they look so good so even on the on the hallway there um, the linen closet i should say all the bedrooms for every single door inside the house we might be able to show you them here quickly um, so these double doors we installed and um, i'll just quickly show you so that's going to look once it's painted they'll look really really good um, obviously the architrave's not on and so forth but but that's okay so all of the internal doors have been put on um, and uh, also just uh, two or three weeks ago the aluminium windows arrived so the new kitchen window came we put that one in this one which is identical to that one turned up damaged we couldn't believe it so we've sent that back to steg bar we should get that any day and then we'll put it straight in we've got a new timber back door that's actually a full glass door going in there uh, we've just put that one in temporarily uh, but the jams in and all that sort of stuff uh, i'll quickly just go outside to show you uh hang on a sec just to open the door we've also um put all blue board on the back of the house obviously that window has got to go in but all the back of the house has now got blue board on it um, ready for render so that's the new window there uh, and then you can see on this side the new timber door jam that looks really good we'll um i think we're going to paint all the doors white but i think the the tread will stay a stained like a stained color because it'll, it'll just match the rest of the house. Excuse me, just while I shut that door there, lock the door up. Um, so the other thing, obviously, you know that in previous videos, all of the electrical was done. Last time I spoke, I think we were upgrading all the switchboard. So that's now all done. So now we've got all lighting through the whole house, which looks really, really good. All new lights, uh, new light switches, um, and the electrical for you know uh that there's an led for the little bar that's going in there there's a there's a custom made bar going in that corner so on the left there'll be a wine fridge and and then a, a really nice bar so we're going to put led light in there power points are all in place um and then of course uh we've got these really cool little switches uh two-way switches with dimmers uh i know that my electrician has rewired um you know the entry so the lighting works better it was terrible the way it was done uh we've got a chandelier or a pendant light coming down here into the uh entry so that's um that's happening we're going to have a wall light here and then we've uh, also installed some two-way switches uh down to the to the front door so that's really cool as well uh and then obviously all new lights through here too so everything's moving along really well obviously you can see that all of the plastering has been completed um, it looks fantastic this column looks really good this little section of wall over here uh, we moved that back if you remember 400 mil to create a little study nook there next to that really nice window the client didn't want to lose that fourth window i think it was a good decision in the end uh, and then across here, there'll be a bench that goes across there that you can see across into the kitchen. And behind that wall there is where the new fridge will be located. Um, the transition and the marrying of these two ceilings was hard because if you look back through previous videos, there used to be a fireplace in there, two, two-sided fireplace. There was actually three massive trailer loads of bricks that came out of that one fireplace. <laughs> it was huge we had to patch the ceiling we had to um yeah put a put a beam up in the ceiling and all that sort of stuff so the transition 
of that ceiling through there is a real credit to our guys to marry that through that well. Uh, so then fridge will go in here and then obviously the, uh, the, the, uh, the pantry is all done. That'll have shelves on three sides. That's going to be really functional as well. It's really hard to show you that. But standing here now, it's so much more open. The house, it looks amazing. Like compared to what it was, I mean, I, I, I really urge you to go and have a look at the uh, previous previous uh, videos and, you know, the before video of anything. If you're looking to do, you know, a project or something in the future or whatever, have a look because this is a massive transformation. There used to be, that was just a blocked wall and this was a lot longer as well. There was only just one little walkthrough section there. So this is gonna change the way this family lives forever, I think. Um, I think it looks and feels so much more open, fantastic. There's a lot of, um, there's a lot of light in the room now. So uh, I know I love that word, fantastic. The boys give me grief all the time over it, but it really does look good. Uh, and uh, genuinely thrilled for the clients. It's getting really close. It, we've got everything we need now. So um, the plan for this week is to get all of this timber installed, 140 meters installed into all of these areas. Then next Monday, uh, sorry, uh, that'll happen probably over three or four days, I think. Then the tilers will come back and finish all the wet areas. Uh, there's uh, one bathroom, toilet or powder, and laundry upstairs. Um, and then there's also a bathroom downstairs, the ensuite. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, but then next week on Monday, all the, the cabinet makers are in, are in. Cabinet makers are in, so they'll install all the kitchen, the pantry, the laundry. Uh, most likely the bar, um, and I think one of the vanities is custom made. I'm pretty sure the the one in the uh, in the in the main bathroom up here is custom made. So that'll be installed as well, uh, and then uh, we will fit off everything um, in wall systems. And so we've gone to in wall systems in the house. Originally we we're going to go back to wall, but we've built nib walls and moved things and changed things. So that'll all get installed and then obviously uh, balustrades and paint and all those kinds of things will happen. So so this week, uh, well last week, the clients decided to change the balustrade, so we ripped that off. So there's additional work with now the plastering that goes with that to make it look really good, to make sure it, you know, it really is smart when you walk in. If you look at previous videos and so forth, there used to be a lot of niches in there. There actually used to be a door there that we've enclosed. So when you walk in the door now, once this is all done and the timber stairs are done and all that sort of stuff, it's going to be a bit of a wow factor. I think it'll look really good. If we quickly go downstairs, have a look, you can see there's all ply board down here. So we've used thicker ply down here. I'm pretty sure the boys have put um, uh, I think it's 15 mil ply board um, downstairs, all through uh, the main bedroom and then into the robe. Um, and so that's the other thing that the cabinet makers will install. That's they'll install the the robe. So it's a custom robe as well. So downstairs here, it was a huge amount of um, jackhammering that was done. Uh, and then grinding in the floors to get it all perfect. Then we've laid this really nice thick ply board to bring the levels up correct. And then also um, we will carpet it and it will feel so much better under the foot, a little bit um, better with um, heating cooling as well. Um, you don't want concrete underneath if you don't have to. Um, so yeah, all of that was done as well. Um, a lot of work by the boys on jackhammers and grinders and so forth in the last couple of weeks. Um, really proud of the guys. They've worked hard on this project. And then this one is obviously the main, uh, sorry, the master suite. Uh, this has been ready for a while. Uh, I've been over this in detail in other videos, but you can see here in wall system and pan. Uh, that we did there that was an addition that was supposed to just be back to wall uh, we cut and moved the waste back into the the wall there we've um, you know screeded the floor so that's ready there for tiling and that's going to be a really nice big shower in 
their ensuite for them and then obviously we overkill the waterproofing as always i mean this is a slab you don't actually have to waterproof the entire floor on a slab but we do anyway uh, so we put leveling agent and then waterproofing and uh of course um do everything we can for energy efficiency so anything thermal there's loads of um you know uh insulation in the walls and things like that so um yeah so all of everything is almost ready now for uh you know uh paint and all the final things it'll go very very fast from here um i think at the end of the week uh when all the flooring's in then basically we're looking at fit off cabinetry finish off tiling get the plumbers back toilets in taps on vanities in all that sort of stuff so this is going to be really cool to watch in the last couple of weeks um and obviously there's a bit a bit more to go but um it's really coming along so well i'm thrilled for the clients as i said so thanks for watching and if you are watching this video thinking of doing your place doing some renovations to your place this is probably now a three hundred thousand dollar renovation i would say um and we love doing projects like this we do several each year along with a lot of small ones so if you are interested, please get in touch, fill in the inquiry form on our website. I'd love to have a chat with you. Thanks for watching.